Hey, how's it going? Tonight I'm working on a 1946 slash 47 champion blue ribbon. Uh, it's a 4.2 horsepower single. Uh, it's got a really unique recoil as the <clears throat> it's down here. It's under the power head and then the pull handle and the cable comes out the front of this I got it uh, apart because I'm going through it cleaning it and I'm going to take the carburetor off and I had to let this loose to get to the carburetor I've already replaced the mag plate with a better one this one was kind of yeah you know, really dirty for one thing um and the handle was not as nice looking as this one i i took it all the way apart and i re-greased everything after i cleaned off all the old grease because when i first got i got this for nothing the other day when i got that west bend guy threw it in wanted to get rid of it but I couldn't even move this. Now it's just, you want it a little bit, you know, so it'll keep your throttle position. But I got it right right where I like it. It's uh, moving good. Um, I got a used coil I'm gonna put on it. The one that I took off was cracked. And so I'm gonna put this one on it. There's no cracks on it. I don't like this phone. There's no cracks in it. And actually that's how I got the stator plate. Uh Nelly's Power Sports or whatever. Uh he's an e they or whatever are an eBay eBay seller. And I was looking for a coil for my wizard over there before I found the supply with the brand new ones I got the ship for 25 bucks I got the stator plate and a nice coil which these are these are worth like 50 bucks all day um, and the Bendix had this insulating pad that you put down in the bottom I'll, I'll just show you on this side going to go on the other side but and then your uh, spark wire eyelet sets down in there and it keeps everything protected I like to put some dielectric grease on it after I make the connection and then push it down in there and then I'm gonna make up a new spark wire I just buy these Oregon boots sometimes. Um, get them at Ace Hardware. Well, you know me, I can't find nothing until I shut the camera off. But anyway, make up a new spark wire. Oh, there it is. It's going to bite me. Three bucks. It's got this Sparky. If you're a Chrysler fan, or the little clip is called a Sparky. And then I got some, just some uh, bulk spark wire. Get that done. I got a set of points to put on it. Or I could put the old ones in, but I think I'm gonna put these ones back, uh, these ones on it. The points were okay on it. I just. I think I'll set them because they're so grubby. I'll just put them in my my spare parts area. I got props and coils and points. Got all the different kinds of points. I got um, condensers for all kinds of different 
ignition systems. But anyway, this takes a whopper of a spark plug. It's a D14. It's a big one. For example, take your standard uh, <laughs> it's huge a regular spark plug wrench won't do it but anyway this is what it looked like uh, I got one side cleaned up real good this is how it looked a little while ago on both sides, but I tackled this side first, so I got her shined up pretty good. The recoil works. It's, it's a pretty cool little setup. I got another one of these sitting outside, and uh, when I got it, it never had a... I didn't know what that was. I had no idea. Not, this part was missing, and all it had was that that scotch or whatever you want to call it a scutcheon so i didn't know what it was but now that i got this one i realized it's a recoil and that's where the recoil's at because the other one i think it's stuck but then again now that i know that there's a recoil there the recoil could be goofed up and keeping it you know tricking me into thinking it's uh stuck but I think I should have this one running. I just got to put the ignition system back together and uh, take the carburetor off and take it apart and toss it in the ultrasonic and let her have it for 45 minutes or so. Pop it all back together. I got uh, tillets and carb gasket kits from the Martin Outboard guy. But he's only going to have the parts, gaskets for uh, MD series. But that covers a lot of popular brands that I work on anyways. So when I get all that done, I'm waiting for a... I got another one tore up. I'm working on a Martin 60, 1948 Martin 60. And the spark plug... The bottom spark plug hole is stripped right out. I got good compression. I can't check it, though, numbers-wise, because the bottom one's stripped. I've got all kinds of Martin parts, so I'm going to take a head off another 60. But right now, I'm waiting for the gasket set to arrive from Nebraska. It's got a decent... I mean, I, I think it's fine for, like brand new looking this is what the impellers look like in the earlier martins this isn't the one that's in there i'm keeping this one because it's pretty good but the one that's in here is right inside this cover and it's in better shape than this one it looks like it's never even been used this motor was stuck when i first started working on it a little bit of PB blaster and just do a little bit of work back and forth and I got it going spinning around I got spark it's got two nice looking coils in it it's got the Wyco uh, shellac wrap coils they look just like them and uh, as soon as I get that gasket set I'll put that back together and make a video of that running I don't know when it's ever going to warm up in Michigan. It's been raining since since this morning, early this morning. Cold, windy, and rained all day long, and it's still raining. All right, so there's my champion blue ribbon. Uh, it's one, one of the only ones so far that I've worked on that actually looks more like a full-fledged outboard the other champions that I put on my channel was looked like that 
they never had any, you know, sides and things to make them look a little more substantial. This tank is super clean inside, which is good because a lot of times I spend five or six hours trying to get a tank cleaned up good enough that I can put gas in it. Well, my battery's going low, so I can't show you, but it's pretty clean inside. Yeah. Nice that it's aluminum. You don't have to worry about spending $30 on a rust eater. I'm not so sure this stuff even did anything. I wouldn't waste the money on it. All right, I'll come back at it when I get this popped together and in the tank. Thanks for watching.